Once upon a time, there lived a young bug named Chinch. Chinch was a bug born to slave parents. He lived with his parents at the palace and worked as the king's servant. He was just five years old when his parents died after an enemy invasion that led to a lot of death in their colony. But they managed to conquer their enemies. Fifteen years later, they were able to recover from the attack and became very prosperous. Chinch grew up to be a very young and handsome insect. He was loved by some but disliked by so many who felt it was weird. For he acted in ways that contradicted the others. Even the king Zhu Chinch disliked him because he was always coming up with one idea or the other, which the king termed silly ideas. Chinch, what brings you to my presence this time? My king, I greet you. I am here, your highness, in respect to the incessant theft in our colony by the flying vampires. I am scared that one day we might run out of feeds. Run out of feed? Are you a prophet of doom? You are talking about our feed running out when we have so much feed that can last for many years? Look around you, Chinch. Our territory have the most food. Why do you think our territory is constantly invaded for theft? So relax, Chinch. We won't run out of feeds anytime soon. Your Highness, I have this intuition that the humans are going to invite exterminators soon to wipe out all pests in this territory. I want to suggest that we move somewhere else to find feed so that we can be saved from these exterminators. You want me to leave my territory? No way. Who are you to suggest such to me? Have you forgotten your place in this palace? I have a lot of cabinet members who can suggest to me how to run this territory and not you a slave. Leave my presence this minute. Chinch bowed and left the presence of the king. On his way to the servant chamber, he met with some youths of his age who know about his several prophecies and about his quest for new feed. So, they mocked him. Hey Chinch, what are you up to lately? Have you got any new discovery to share? <laughs> Hello guys, I was just coming from the king's palace, but he walked me out. I only suggested to his highness that we find new feeds, for the humans will be launching an attack soon, very soon oh. <laughs> Launch an attack on us? Come on! But how come you know so much and we do not? Oh, I see! It is like you hold private meetings with the humans, right? <laughs> and the last time I remember, we Chinchins do not speak the same language with the humans. So tell us how you could understand them. The humans have this device they use that displays photos. On it, I saw the humans looking like exterminators with weapons they used in shooting at our kind. And I saw them die. I feel that will befall on us if we don't leave this territory immediately. Change was still speaking when the others walked out on him. The Chinchins were in a house. How they safeguarded that territory against the flying vampires. They dislike the flying vampires for always causing trouble for them. According to the Chinchins, the flying vampires are responsible for several diseases affecting the human race. Here comes a flying vampire. We must stop her. Little pest to our territory. Have you come to steal our feet? Hi, Chinchins. I was thinking. 
I could come share with you guys. You see, I am really hungry. You lousy pest. You know very much that we don't share. And even though we must, not with lousy creatures like you. Just go away before you disturb the humans. You guys are just mean. Why do you always have to be like that? We'll be gone for now. But I will be back. Don't let me see your ugly faces when I return. She flies away, only to return in a short time, alongside some other flying vampires. We have been taking a lot of shit from you, Chinchins. If you claim the old territories, where then do we need? Where then do we feed and get food for our children? You have no choice but to share this time, stingy fellows. You have to share. You have to share. What is going on here? Why so much noise? The flying vampires are here to take a share of our feet. There is no way that is going to happen. You will just wake the humans and cause us a lot of troubles. Go away. Okay then, if you won't share, we will have to take it by force. A fight breaks out. The flying vampires use their weapons to hit the heads of the chinchins, while the chinchins try to pull them to the ground and give them some blows. The human, who was formerly sleeping, was awoken by the noise. He waved a piece of cloth in the air, and this got the insect to panic and run for their lives. You all must run for safety this instant. As they tried to avoid being hit by the cloth, Mila was knocked down. She fell to the ground and was unconscious while the others went into hiding. Unfortunately, the human turned over and rested his hand on a chinchin. Later on, the chinchins reappeared to try and save their fellow chinchin from being smashed by the human hand.